everybody, my name is Jenny and welcome to my Amulet. Today I want to share with you my collection of notebook covers. So I have been acquiring these for almost five years and I've quite gotten a number of them. Some of them were gifts and others I purchased and gave into impulse. Although I have to say I don't purchase my notebook covers you know just lightly I really take my time and think about it I really take my time and think about when selling them as well so there have been quite a few that have come in and left my collection and these are just the ones that remain and I feel like it's a lot <laughs> um so I, I'm hopefully doing this with you will kind of help me figure out what really needs to go and what doesn't so uh, let me know what you think let's get started let's uh, go through from smallest to biggest since they're organized that way already uh, let's get these out of the way so that you can see um, here, let's put these over here all right, so let's start with oops, my passports. I have these four. Um, okay, so let's start with this one because this was my very first one. This one is from 2017. It is the Brown Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company, passport size. And this one was used heavily. I used it for about um, almost two years, I think a year and a half, nonstop. So for all that time, it lived in my purse and I absolutely love it. This one um, brings me lots of good memories. Then, because I had the brown and everyone raved about the camel, I purchased the camel a couple of months after. Um, and I have to say, I never used it. Um, yeah, it's, it's brand new. It still has that suede feeling that uh, a lot of the camels have. And I, I can't quite pinpoint why I never used it. Because it's beautiful. But I just, compared to my brown, I absolutely love this one so much that I never quite use this one. All I did was add this little bead, which you'll see a lot of them have. Um, these came from a bracelet that broke and I wanted to, you know, be unique and repurpose them. So they, a lot of them ended up on my notebooks, but this might be one that I let go of just because I don't, I've never used it. And I, it might make a great gift for someone. So after, the camel came the blue so this one will be about three years old in April which that was when it was released here in the United States and when I purchased it and this is my absolute favorite you can see the patina on it it's just so beautiful it's gotten some light blue almost teal like spots then the edges have been darkened the front is just amazing. I love the scratches. I love everything about this notebook. So this one has lived in my purse for all that time and it took the place of this little guy. Which is another question. If I know I really like this one, do I really need this one? I don't know. Anyway, um, here, oh my tea. I always have some sort of tea bag with me. I have the Faroof pouch. Um, I have a homemade dashboard, which I am not proud of. <laughs> it was very, not a very good job, but you know what? It's cute, I enjoy it. Eventually I'll buy a good one. Then I have a notebook that's dot grid in which anything goes in here, a grocery list, whatever just goes in here. Then I have, um, this is a reading log for this year. 
then I have my field notes, which I love, and anything regarding work goes in here that, um, you know, I'm not home for, which nowadays that doesn't happen because we're all home, but, you know, before <laughs> the madness began, that was the purpose for this. Then we have the end of my pouch, and sometimes I will tuck in my, I don't carry a wallet, I carry a card holder, I'll tuck it in here, and I am ready to go wherever. I'm good to go. So this is super, super awesome. This I don't foresee ever letting go of. I absolutely love it. And then I got this one just over a year ago. This is a Chick Sparrow um, Mr. Darcy Titanic, which my friend Joe uh, sold to me at an amazing price she knows i love this color and she did not have a use for this and she asked me oh, do you want it and when i saw how beautiful the she had done to the stitching she kind of i think she dyed it or something i don't know and she switched the elastics to dark because that's also a weakness for me i love when the the contrast with the dark elastic i was like yes i will take it i will give it a home so this one has the secretarial pockets and the pen loop which you'll see this is the only cheek spare i have with a pen loop because i don't really like pen loops i feel like it's a, a too much of a permanent commitment i like this stuff more where i can just take it off move it around if it bugs me it's gone if i want it back i put it back no big deal so this is the only one that has the pen loop and it's okay i like it at first it got, i had to get used to it because i did not like that piece of leather jutting out like that but it's fine this one lives on my nightstand and the, i've always had like a little notebook like this there this is the one i've had for the last two years because it takes me quite a long time to fill them up and this is a dream journal so this is a practice I acquired back in high school when you take introductory to psychology. Um, they, at least our teacher, had us practice um, logging our dreams. And ever since, it's just a practice that stuck with me. I don't do it every night, um, but usually when I have interesting, vivid dreams, I write them down just because it's fun and it helps with memory and all that stuff so that's what this is for and these are my passport sizes then we should move on to pocket i have two this one is from cheek sparrow as well this is the tenerife c from pemberley this is quite old as you can see it's patinaed quite a bit um and it's a classic because i also don't really like pockets so this one's super simple but it's nice because i i do enjoy this color quite a lot and this has my pocket size look term in it uh which was my bullet journal for last year so for now it lives in here and this is from Buteo Bunker, which is a Netty shop. And the leather, I'm, I can't recall exactly what he called it. And I don't think he has any at the moment. I checked a couple of days ago, but I will link his shop down below just in case. Um, but basically this is the same uh, leather as Cheek Sparrow's Black Beauty. And this is my pocket size, which right now has some empty fuel notes waiting, waiting to be used. And this leather is just so, so nice. I absolutely really enjoy this leather, even though this notebook hasn't gotten a lot of use because I will jump through sizes and I don't like having lots of notebooks you know being used at the same time even though you might think like yeah right jenny you have like a bajillion notebooks but i can only handle like three at a time <laughs> you'll i'll show you what that means so these two just sit on the shelf like this for now until one day 
I decided to go back to pocket size. Pocket size is so nice because it just it fits perfectly in your hands, in your bag, and it's just a tad bit bigger than passport, so not overwhelmingly big, but just big enough to get a little bit of extra real estate, which I actually really, really enjoy. So these are pockets. After pocket, we go to the size that started it all. Let me find, okay, so here we go. This, when I started um, in 2017 with Hobonichi, this was like my one of my first covers. This is the eggshell cover, which is a leather cover in Safiano leather. Oh, this was their 2016 collection. Um, and as you can see, it is in awesome condition. I really, really baby this cover. It has a, some sort of stain on here and down here but i also have never really cleaned it so maybe if i do those will go away but this one i just loved when i received it and i used it for quite a bit during that time i was still in the classroom if you don't know i'm an english teacher and this just looked so professional and i was really happy carrying it you know during meetings and all that stuff i it didn't feel too cutesy, if you know what I mean, especially with Hobonichi covers. Not that I don't like that. I do, as I will show you. But for a professional setting, this was perfect for me. It has a pocket in the back. Oh, and then here, the glazing. I did lose like a little piece. I don't know if you can see that. But other than that, this one is perfect. And I have thought about selling this and I just can't bring myself to do it and funnily enough every year <laughs> at the beginning of the year I start this is like my starting cover I always start in this cover and then you know I switch and stay in another cover for the rest of the year but somehow I always start January in this cover and I only last about a month I think it's because it's white and I don't want to dirty it, but it's super silly because you could just clean it. It's, you know, whatever, silly stuff that we do. After that cover, I bought my, this was my first Cheek Sparrow. This is the A6 um, Outlander. Oh my goodness, Time Traveler. How could I forget? This is the A, oh, the A6 Time Traveler. And this one also has taken a beating in the best sense and also needs to be cleaned with some leather cleaning and conditioning. It needs some love. As you can see, it's super, super shiny. It has wrinkles because I rolled it. I did everything that you could do to a notebook. This traveled with me. This went to work with me. This was a planner a journal it was everything and i just loved everything about it i loved the color i loved the simplicity the elegance the the weight is super duper light and it's honestly it's a shame they don't offer this anymore but i'm sure happy i have this one and in here i have a lauren phelps um cover in the holo holographic i think it's what it's called because i don't use my a6s um with inserts i use my a6 a6s with um my hobonichi notebook so that would get tucked in here and then this would go in here like so and that's how my notebook would be used so this is the a6 chic sparrow then i got these this one 
This one I passed up on. This is a 2017, if I'm not mistaken. 2017 cover. That year, I... All the covers, I just, I liked all of them. And I said, no, that's it. Like, you got one, which was my eggshell from the year before, but it was still being sold. You cannot get any more. And I, I stuck to that. But this cover, I could not get out of my mind. It's just, if you know me, I love whites. I love this kind of blues. Actually, I love all blues, but especially this kind of blue and that polar bear it just has the sweetest expression so I, I needed this in my life and one day I was I think um, messaging through Instagram with Sam Sam Kelly she's uh, taking a break from YouTube and Instagram right now so hopefully she'll be back because her channel is super fun she was letting me know that she was thinking about getting rid of this and i was like wait what if you don't if you're gonna sell it i i want it and immediately she was like for sure of course and we exchanged information and the next day she put it in the mail and i was so happy this little guy has been with me ever since so it's gonna be almost i think two years or three years and I've, she gave it to me in immaculate condition. I dirtied it here and I've definitely put it through through its paces. It's dirtied here. I have to clean the cover on cover. But this one also is a keeper. I am going to keep this one forever because I constantly switch into it. After that one came this one, which is also 2017 and it's already my new hobonichi is in here for 2021 um it's all ready to go so i'm i think i'm gonna break tradition and instead of starting with the white i'm gonna start with this one i really really enjoy this one and i also did not purchase it during 2017 because i didn't want to be that person that bought a bajillion covers because I know me and I can be obsessive. So I, I did not want to open that door. And I bought it last year from an eBay seller. And I do not regret it one bit. I love it. That's another A6. Then we go to this Traveler's Factory. I believe this is sold as a book cover. This is in the brown, and I have a Nanami Cafe note in here. It has like these bands. So let me see, I have two books here. I, it's eight, oh, this is too tall. It fits, or it's supposed to fit, that's too tall. Darn it. I don't have a book that fits in there, how could that be? Hmm. Okay, let's try this. Alright, I give up. But anyway, this is supposed to be like you're supposed to be able to tuck in your book. And this is a book cover. But because it's A6, I purchased it for my Hobonichi. And right now it's housing a old, old, old Nanami that I need to finish um and i would just slip in i think i have some paperwork in there that is private i did not as you can see prepare too well for this but um i would slip it in like so and use it like that and it was awesome because i really enjoyed the Traveler's Company leather and I could never use my Hobonichi with it because there there's no size for it so to me this was like a really really nice solution however because these bands are just here and there's no nothing to prevent the book from sliding back and forth it became cumbersome 
to use here and then these two would not line up a lot of times it would be like this and i would find that annoying and it was just mm, i liked it but i didn't so this one might be one that i think about letting go of i don't know not I'm very indecisive at the moment okay last a6 is this year's journal cover the hobonichi um i think it's cappuccino mint cappuccino or something like that with uh the new cover on cover the little eric guy which is super cute but yeah this is the one i've been using all year for my journals i tend not to switch covers i usually stick with the same cover throughout the year there's just something nostalgic about spending a whole year in one cover that i kind of enjoy for my planner so that's a different story i switch around all the time after a6 we move on to b6 which i have just like the little pocket right here i have the b6 uh, version from Buteo Bunker and this one is just as beautiful oh my goodness I love this I love this leather and his his work is just so nice I have an ollie clip here and another of the Lauren Phelps designs books with astology that is also blank because i thought um you know to start my bullet journal here for next year and i changed my mind so <laughs> this notebook staying here for now i i also found that i don't like notebooks of this thickness for bullet journaling i prefer um the thickness of like an avec hobonichi or a loic term but this is a really nice notebook anyway um and i i enjoy the cover so this is a filofax malden that is waiting to have the rings removed because i do not like rings at all not even a little bit not even to like store things i don't like it so this one is about a year old and i just need to find the time and the courage not courage, patience, because I feel like I need patience to sit down and get the rings removed. Because I'm sure you all have seen Dakshina's Malden. Oh, I can't close this. And that prompted this purchase. I always loved Filofax. I always loved the Malden in ochre and the original Filofax, but I don't use rings. So I really never felt like i could purchase one and then when i saw that she had taken the rings out i was like oh my goodness that is genius i will try that and here we are a year later and i'm still waiting i need to try that so that is my file facts and then we go into my standard tns which for standards i only own traveler's company this was my very first one so right after i purchased my first hobonichi like two months after i purchased my first traveler's notebook which was this one and this one is <laughs> has taken quite a beating as you can see it has like a bajillion charms because every time i remove a charm from somewhere and i don't know where to put it it goes on this guy and this one let's see as i said i did not prepare too well so there might be things in here that are private okay here we go this one has a loose insert and some others i have some sticky notes and another insert this one is always set up like this because this is our business planner our finances planner is everything that is not like a yearly 
type of thing even though finances are but um you know things for our business uh ideas things that need to happen they all go in here and this is just perpetually like this after the brown the green was released and i had to have it because i love olive green after blue olive green is it so i used this one for quite a while as well this was a bullet journal this traveled with me uh, quite a bit as you can see and i love how throughout the years it's it's taken this lighter mossy tone with the color so i absolutely love this one i always love how these colors get lighter and then the edges get darker see like there we go that might give you a better visual oops sorry i love this notebook and i'm kind of sad that it's not in use at the moment but like i said i don't do well with using lots of notebooks it just it overwhelms me and then i don't look at any of them so lastly we have the blue which when this came out i was over the moon because i came too late to the game and i missed the pan am uh, special edition blue so when they released this blue i was ecstatic this was a birthday not birthday i'm sorry i don't know what kind of present it was but it was a present this one with the little one from my dad and you can see look at the difference between this one being handled every single day and then this one being you know just like on and off it's patinaed because this was my bullet journal for almost a year uh i have i still have some inserts i always set up my bullet journal in a traveler's notebook the same way i have a calendar this one is the blank one I also prefer blank calendars and I have an insert for you know everything else so my calendar gets taken care of here and then everything else collections dailies weeklies whatever have you go in here and a folder oops there goes my uh, private information I'm gonna have to blur that out and a folder with a pen loop because as you know by now i'm i'm not ready to commit to a permanent pen loop i have some issues and this worked very well for a long time but then you know you get that itch to change so these are all my standards uh traveler notebooks i have three and after I started using A5, which I thought I would never use because it's so big, I did not see myself ever carrying one. But I started with a Leuchtturm and I got this cover from, okay, it's had a little surgery, One Star Leather Goods. This was not there, but, um, they sell the, their notebook covers for a long term with the slit already done for you but here was my my thing those have stitching all the way through down like all four sides this one i feel like has a super cool design because the leather is folded over so this you get like the super cool edging and then you only have stitching here which some people don't uh, like, but I, I thought this was such a cool piece. So, um, and I'm sure if I would have asked Keegan, the, uh, the store owner, he would have done the slit for me, but I didn't. So when it arrived, I just decided to, <laughs> um, you know, as you can see, give it, give it a shot. And it, it's fine. The elastic rests on here and I can just close it. So this one also needs to be cleaned. Also patinaed very, very nicely, as you can see there. 
I really really enjoyed this cover with my Loiterm and any A5 notebook fits in here beautifully so this is one that I'm not ready to part with either just because the leather is just amazing after that purchase I got this hefty guy this one's from Linden Tree oh I thought they had the makers mark on the back yes they don't this one is the Linden Tree uh, leather which I can't recall what they they named it but it's Cheek Sparrow's Maverick and I oh I have some stuff in here I have a Midori uh, plastic cover and my uh, Bomb Kuchen Superior Labor Wallet uh, Traveler's Notebook Insert. This is this is awesome. If you ever and this is their all canvas one. They have one where this is leather, and I I forgot if it has another piece of leather, but the the whole pocket is leather. I wanted the canvas because it's lighter. So for me, this was exactly what I was looking for and it fits in here perfectly. So when I use this as my bullet journal, I would slip this in here, my wallet, and I was set. I was good to go out the door. And I love that it also fits inside an A5 perfectly. So I can have my notebook here, this little thing here, with um, my wallet if I need it to be or um, you know little journaling supplies I also loved that when they designed this the cards are going in this way as opposed to the Traveler's Company one which come out this way and I don't like that because I felt like my cards were just gonna slip out and you know be lost so I feel like this way they're much more secure because if they fall they fall this way anyways just little random things that you think about uh, this one is quite a departure from my um, the kind of leather that I like I am very much this squishy this flexible kind of leather and this one is beautiful absolutely beautiful but is so heavy it is hefty hefty so I've used it but not the way I've used all the others not the way I've used this so I don't know if this one should should go to a home where they will love it or if I should just wait till my mood changes but look at that that is just incredible I, I love it I have nothing bad to say except I feel like it needs to be used this is gorgeous beautiful after I got this one was first this is Breeze core cover and I have a, a review on this. This is just scrumptious. I I love this cover. Oh my goodness. You sh I wish you could touch it. It is just so soft. So soft. My Lord term lived in here for quite a while. Um, and any A5 notebook fits in here. So this one is not leaving my collection either. Just because it's so lightweight. It's so beautiful. It's totally my style. I love the the piece of cork that she she used. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. My husband really loves this one, so I I feel like he will be like, "No, you can't sell that. If you don't want it, I'll take it." <laughs> then I got this one from Everheart Studio. This is her butter beer, and it is so nice. Oh, I love it. This is uh, Cheek Sparrow's butter rum, which I had in A6, but my butter rum was dull 
and cardboard like and I I was not happy so it went on to somebody that loves it as I couldn't and uh, then I when I decided to try it again and went on to try this one and this one feels a lot different I don't know if it's because this is a much thinner piece but it just feels a lot better and the color is just beautiful this one's shiny and I, I can't say enough about it plus the price such a reasonable price for an A5 notebook you should definitely if you're interested check out um everheart studio on etsy and instagram and actually i believe there's a website now because you will not be disappointed this is just gorgeous okay guys if you're still with me thank you so much i know this is a long video but we're almost at the end i promise um okay for this year new that i have not used my hobonichi cousin cover this is the first cousin cover that i own and will probably be the last i did not own any cousin covers because as you saw i have quite a few a5 covers so i never felt the need to have like a hobonichi cover for my cousin but this color as you've already figured out by now this color is a weakness this color, navy and brown, are just it for me. I love it. So I thought and thought and thought about it. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to have it in my collection. Because chances are, it's going to take them another couple years to make a color like this. They had a color like this. I think it was back in 2018, 2017. And... Um, you know, you're not always guaranteed that the color covers are going to be colors that, um, you know, they, they usually switch around the color scheme and stuff. And I actually gravitate a lot towards the color covers, which is awesome because they're the cheapest. So I'm, I'm happy about that. So I got this one and I will use it with my Hobonichi cousin next year. So I'm super happy with it. The color is beautiful and it's simple. And these Hobonichi covers can take a beating. They will not die on you. They're amazing. Although they're expensive, I will say that. And, oops, we're dropping stuff. Last but not least is my Filofax Original. This I got a couple months ago um, on Amazon. It was on my, my wish list. And I saw that the price had considerably dropped. So I decided to just go for it. And oh my god. Okay, so it's kind of housing my next year's um, Hobonichi uh, cousin, which will be my bullet journal and my day free, which is also part of my bullet journal. But I will talk about that in a separate video since this one must be super long by now uh this cover let's get these guys out of here because you're here for the covers not the notebooks this cover uh, as i told you before i always loved file packs but i don't do rings so when i saw that they had this i immediately thought i'm gonna purchase it but it takes me a long time to buy things uh, even though it looks like it doesn't <laughs> by this evidence, but it really does. I really think about it and I I let people go purchase first and see what they have to say and based on that I kind of you know figure out whether I'm gonna try it or not. So this one has this kind the I don't recall what they call this. My goodness. I'm so sorry, but I will link this down below um, Maybe it's a it's it a folio cover oh yes it says it right here oh my goodness a5 notebook folio so this folio uh has great reviews amy graham from the baddest valkyrie has one and her video is super detailed on it and she uh i already knew i wanted it but then her video was just like confirmation like yes this is a great product 
because I did not want something super bulky and super big since you know A5 is already a big notebook as it is so when I saw some people do this and I saw all this extra space I thought no that's not that's not gonna work that's not what I have in mind but when you place your notebook inside especially if you want to have a bigger notebook or two like I will it works out perfectly and it's not heavy the leather's not heavy and you get that classic beautiful look from the filofax and the popper oh my god you guys i was so excited to have the notebook with the popper finally and not have to worry about taking out rings and the whole thing so this is the dark aqua and i couldn't be more pleased with it so next year i will be in either of these two i still have to make up my mind um and and figure out how that that will go but this is my collection let me know if you have any questions down below uh, let me know what you think do you have such a large collection do you have a limit for how many notebooks you use i i have okay we'll use this one for uh, demonstration purposes this is this would be my bullet journal my journal bag notebook because this one is not always with me and this is what i meant when i told you i do three at a time this i cannot do any more than this because it's just not possible for me they will not get looked at i admire those people that can really have different setups and have so much fun with different notebooks at the same time but i've tried and every time i fail and i just i've come to terms with the fact that this is as much as i can do right now so let me know um you know how many notebooks you use are you thinking about just trying one notebook that's that's a dream i i wish i could just do one notebook but it's that's also another impossibility for me but thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope this was fun. I hope it was helpful in some way. If you're thinking about trying any of these sizes, any of these uh, leathers, um, and I, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and you're surrounded by health and love and family. And I will see you next time. Bye.